All right, what's up Aqua Gang? Thanks for joining me. It's Empress 777 here today with your almost daily love reading. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Happy Saturday. All right, we're gonna jump right in. Holy Angels and Spirit Guides, give me clear, concise messages for my Aquarius. Let us know exactly what we need to know, Spirits. So we can make clear and concise messages in our life. All right. So I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I certainly am. If you have not clicked that subscribe button, please go ahead and do that right, right now. Okay, become a part of our family. You will not regret it. We do cut up on this channel though. So that is a warning, right? <laughs> Disclaimer, we keep it real and we cut up. That's what we do. All right, so we're gonna jump right in. These are gonna be general messages as you guys already know. Okay, so they may or may not resonate. Take what does, leave the rest. Um, put yourself where you belong in the stories. For those of you interested in a personal read, um, information to get that done will be linked down below. Um, what else do I have to say? <laughs> uh, there will be an extended for this read, okay? So in the extended, we'll look at the, your person's current feelings, their next steps, and the potential outcome. Uh, we'll also look at what's coming towards you, okay? New in love and in finances. So let's jump right in, okay? Gauge the general energy in this. Wow, really straight. That's what we're doing today, huh? That's what we're doing? <laughs> Shit. Okay, we have. All right. Did you change your number? Did you? <laughs> did you? If you didn't, they want to know why they have not heard from you. That's what that's all about, okay? Wow. <laughs> okay. Hold on, guys. They're having me get one more that fell out here. You still there? Okay, so we have an individual who is possibly losing their shit, guys. Okay, they want to know where you are, why they have not heard from you. Um, have you cut this off entirely? Have you moved on? Um, they may be just a little bit confused in reference to where things are going. So maybe a conversation has not been had. You may feel like this person doesn't deserve an explanation or a conversation from you. <laughs> okay. You get nothing. You, you get air. You're paying them dust right now, is what I heard. Damn. All right, we have comfortable. Okay, so somebody got a little bit too comfy with the way things were. Okay, somebody got a little bit too comfy. They, they mistook your niceness for uh, naivety, naivety, right? They, they have mistaken you being kind and caring and giving to them um, as someone that would be able to be taken advantage of okay um so they've taken your kindness for weakness i don't like that at all but now you want to know where i am mm, okay yeah no i don't think you need to know that see pick up the damn phone okay yeah they're losing their shit guys so they have not heard from you you're not you're not answering the phone some of you have changed your number you changed your location completely all right um you are not in reach within reach for them this is freaking them out. Um, it may have started off slow, right? It, it may have started off as a, you still there? <laughs> right? And then it just built to a, did you change your number? Huh? And now it's like, pick up the motherfucking phone. Pick it up right now. Pick it up. So they are kind of losing it emotionally. All right. A bit of, um, they're emotionally all over the place at this time. Yeah, I can't let go, but I tried. And so this is the issue. So I, I, I'm hearing intuitively that this is a person, because they got so comfortable, they almost thought that you were just as attached as they were. I think Aquarius, we can give off that vibe sometimes. If we're really into you, then we're gonna give it to you and we're gonna be super loyal. But as soon as you cross us, as soon as you cross the Aquarius, I mean, it's like it's like you never existed as an individual, as a human, as a human being. Like you no longer have a space within the Aquarius mind once you cross them. So this is what's this is what's messing with their mental space, guys. OK, it's taking up all of their mental space is what I'm hearing. So they have tried to let this go, but they can't. And they almost can't understand how you were able to let it go so easily. Right. It's like tripping them out. The fact that you're not even there anymore. So quickly, it happened with the swiftness, okay? That is it, it left them kind of spinning, okay? My love for you is real. Okay, so here, here's the thing, guys, okay? This could very well be true, all right? You like, girl, no, don't believe them. They're a liar, don't believe them, okay? 
this could very well be true. They could very well have all of the feels for you, but it's their comfortability that led them to make some very poor decisions in reference to you. They weren't very wise in the way that they went about this. They called the wrong play, guys, is what I'm hearing, okay? Yeah, they, they called the wrong play on this. And so now they're kind of left to just be within their thoughts because you're not giving them the time of day, okay? You're not paying them any attention. You're paying them dust. That's what I heard. Shit, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, here's the thing, right? Once you start getting comfortable and you start treating somebody as if you are entitled to whatever it is that they were giving, um, you kind of put yourself there, right? You, you almost feel like they need to sit in this, you know? Um, like their worries and their anxiety is none of your business is what I'm feeling. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so we have the eight of emotions, eight of cups, okay, guys? that's This is walking away, okay? In this card, we have signifying like a, a new moon, okay? So that's a new cycle beginning. You, you've walked away from this completely, okay? Um, here's what I also see. It's a card that has um, a lot of symbolism of empty space, okay? So it's very empty besides this new cycle that you're going towards. So this connection either left you feeling empty, like they, they drew everything out of you and you had nothing left. And now you're almost forced to go in the opposite direction to kind of refill yourself back up, re, um, rejuvenate, right? Re-energize your life. Um, but it can also signify that this was there were empty offers in this connection. The, the, there was a very, this was a very empty connection. Um, it lacked substance, okay? It was one that you felt like you had to walk away from because it, there was nothing in it. There was nothing left. Um, so you may have really fought and now it's just, you, you, not, you no longer b believe that there's a reason to continue to fight for this. But they do. <laughs> They're freaking out. Yeah, they're freaking the fuck out. They definitely got used to you guys, okay? They were very comfortable. Very, very, very comfortable this person had gotten. Um, and so this could have been an individual who did not express their feelings. You don't even, you might not have even known this, okay? Especially with their actions. Their actions did not speak love to you. Um, the way that they handled you did not signify that there was love there. So why, why am I still staying here? Well, I mean, what, what reason do I have to remain here? You know, you're willingly taking my love and my affections and, you know, everything that I have to offer. But now they want to come forth with this confession and they can't because they can't get to you. OK, they cannot reach you. You have left the building. You have left the atmosphere. You're off to a new cycle. <sighs> wow. Yeah, we have the nine of wands in the reverse. This is the current energy. You're done. So nine of wands in the upright, as you know, is the wounded warrior. It's wanting to, it's, it's being beat up in a relationship, guys. Let's just be very real about that, okay? I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. It's being beaten down to almost nothing in a relationship, but whatever it is that you still have as an attachment to that other individual kind of keeps you around. You kind of still see hope. You kind of still have one more fight left in you, that type of energy, right? One more go around. Like let's, let's just try one more time in the upright, in the reverse. It is done, done to done. Okay. It is so done. It never, ever happened almost. <laughs> It's like, let's just erase that part of my life. Let's just erase that part entirely that doesn't count. And let's just start over somewhere else. They are not able to do that as quickly though. Okay. I do feel the idea that you are, if you're not all already beyond the portal of starting a new cycle in your life, you're right there. You're, you're walking right into an entirely different cycle. One that does not involve this person and they're still quite stuck here. So that's really effing with them. The fact that you were able to do that just so I just feel like, you know, even if you had emotions, even if an Aquarius has an em has emotions, once you've made up your mind that there's nothing left, right, that it's empty, nothing else will come of this, nothing that you try to get them to see, will they ever be able to see? They're still blind. They will never change. Everything will remain the same. And so once that decision is made that, OK, I made up my mind, I've seen all that I need to see here, then then getting over it is the easiest part. 
right? I think the hardest part is trying to figure out if there's still a fighting chance left. Aquarius is very loyal, okay? Takes you a long time to get there. Takes you a very long time. You vet people like crazy, okay? Not You're not fools out here, okay? So that's why when you finally do give a person a true shot and then they get all comfortable and shit and they're not doing their part, they're not really, you know, seeing what they have before them, you you kind because you're loyal you may kind of stay around for 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 a period of time until you realize that it is done nothing else can be done here and then once that decision is made in your mind then moving on is the hard is is the easiest part is that's the easiest part but they can't figure out how you were able to just kind of let it go like that <laughs> they're shocked yeah, we have queen of materials, okay? So this is in the habits that your person kind of needs to release. This is not, so the queen of pentacles is all about security, abundance, um, being stable for another person and for yourself. So I do get the idea, not only in these cards that came out before, they seem very emotionally imbalanced, but they also seem imbalanced just as an individual as a whole. So if they can't keep themselves balanced, then there was no way that they were gonna be able to come together with another person and and give balance they don't have it within themselves so that is something that they would have definitely needed to work on i think that you're beyond the point of wanting to work on things though okay i mean we have the knight of wands in the reverse so i i just don't know they could be struggling financially that's for some of you you know your person i don't um the queen of uh, pentacles she's very financially well off but pentacles are all about practicality. They're all about stability and security. And this is a person who did not really offer that. Um, you kept waiting to see if they would, right? Maybe the relationship is too, maybe it's too early, right? Maybe I need to give it some time. Maybe I need to really, you know, give them a chance, right? You will give a person a chance. But then once you were able to see that that stability, that security, that, you know, <laughs> That balance just was not there. They were actually knocking you off balance in turn. There, there was nothing else to see. You know, there was nothing else to figure out. So now you're gone. They cannot find you. And this is really freaking them out. They don't understand how you were able to do that. They're still emotionally attached. Very, they're very attached, guys. Okay, just pull a few more of these and let's go over into the extended and dig a little bit further. See, we have, yeah, so we have commitment. See, long-term relationship. So now this is what they are wanting with you, but they don't have the tools in their arsenal, guys, to get that done. You see what I'm saying? This is a person who will commit. This is a person who will say that, you know, they'll put the title on things, but the actions do not follow. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they talk a good game, but their actions do not follow that. See, we have come together. Wow, reconciliation, spiritual union, soul contract. So they do feel like you're a soulmate. They feel like this is why they are not able to let go and they can't figure out how you were able to get that done, guys. I mean, it really has sent them reeling. The fact that you you have seemingly entirely disconnected yourself from them and they, they have not been able to do that. They're trying, they're trying their hardest, guys, okay? Wow, see, now we have unconditional, genuine, certain love. So, so they, guys, all of the feels are there, like I said, regardless of what you're saying, because I hear some of y'all like, girl, didn't we tell you? No, there is, it's not love, child, okay? Maybe I've been less, whatever you think it is, you're just like, that's not how somebody who loves you behaves, but all the feels are there, guys. They just do not know how to either show it properly they don't have the right tools in order to um, reciprocate and, and give to you just as much as you were giving to them they may not know how to speak your love language is what i'm hearing um and so you just feel like all of that is like a personal problem on their end you've already decided is what i heard okay <laughs> so i don't know i don't know what they plan to do with all of these feelings. They wanna come back together with you. They want to have a commitment, a long-term relationship. I don't know if you still see it for this person. They're losing their shit right now, guys, okay? I just still need to work on this, okay? It's about that balance, that security, that, um, that maturity, right? Pentacles are about responsibility. So you may have felt like this person was a bit immature. They did not signify someone who who were who could responsibly be in this connection, in this partnership, is what I'm hearing. So you want a partner, right? 
Um, so I don't know. Come on over with me to the extended. We're going to look at what their true feelings are, right? Their intentions, the next steps, and the outcome. And then we'll also look at what's coming towards you new for those of you who want to look into that and your finances, okay? So let's go on head over in the extended. Thanks for joining, okay? Click that like button, guys. Click the subscribe button. Do that right now. Do that right now, okay? I'll see you over in the extended. It will be linked down below, okay? Bye-bye.